Questions, questions, questions. Hi, my name is Tara and this is Tara Does Whatever. In lieu with the new season of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, I will be sharing you the 10 mysteries that are left unanswered in the first season. I know this video might be a little too late, but this would have to be for the people who have just um, seen season 1 and are about to go and watch what's well, they don't really call it season, they call it part star, they call it parts. So this is for the people who have just watched part 1 and will be watching part 2. So here we go, the 10 mysteries that I want to be answered for the part 2 of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. P.S. Spoilers ahead for those who haven't seen part 1, so um, I urge you to please watch part 1 because honestly, it's worth the time. Mystery number 1! Why did Sabrina's hair turn white? Okay, I know this is very like a trivial thing to ask, but honestly, I am just curious. Is it because she signed her name in the book? Is it because she has a lot more power than she thought she had? Or is it just like a physical manifestation of Sabrina being or transforming into an evil witch? Hmm. Mystery number two. Speaking of evil, if you have watched the 90s Sabrina, you would know that every spellman has an evil twin. Now my question is, will we be seeing that plot in the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part 2. Like, I mean, there were some signs, there were some things that did indicate that maybe Sabrina was part of a whole. If you remember, she was in the tub, and I don't know if it was a hallucination or a vision of the past, but she was transported into the same place that she was born and then she saw her mother and father and there was a table with two babies. One had normal baby legs and the other had hooves for legs. Could it be that the other baby with the hooves for legs is the evil one? And if it is, who is Sabrina? Is she the evil twin or the good twin? And also, if you remember when Sabrina went into limbo, she saw her mother and her mother did say something in the likes of they took her or they took the baby or something like that, but Sabrina was not taken. She was there. So does it mean that there is another baby, another Sabrina perhaps? Perhaps. So many signs, so many clues, but no outright answer. I hope there's an answer for that in part two. Mystery number three. Will Harvey Kinkle embrace his legacy of being a witch hunter? It was revealed in part one that Harvey comes up from a bloodline of witch hunters. And we do know that he is a bit afraid of Sue. So, is he going to follow through with that? Will it be another stain to the already stained and damaged relationship that Harvey and Sabrina have? Mystery 4, speaking of Harvey, will Harvey and Sabrina be getting back together? Honestly, I don't want them together because I want Sabrina and Nick Scratch to be together because I am Team Nick Scratch! Nick Scratch for the win! I want the chip to sail! But honestly, we have no idea. Well, those who have watched part 2 would have, I guess. I really do hope that Sabrina would be with Nick Scratch and not Harvey Kinkle. Personal opinion, don't shoot me. Just comment down below if you agree with me or not. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you saw the first trailer of the part 2, you would see that there was a scene with Roz and Harvey and they were getting a bit chummy chummy. I think it was a part when Harvey took off Roz's glasses. I think that was something. I think it was more than just a friendly gesture. I think it had to 
be romantic. So if that does follow through, then yes, Nick Scratch and Sabrina all the way. Mystery number five. We all know in part one that Hilda, sorry, it was Zelda who took the baby, not Hilda. The took the twin, the baby girl from Father Faustus because, you know, she was scared as to how a Father Faustus would react that his firstborn between the twins is a girl. So she took it and they hid it as a secret between her, the Spellmans, and then she did take it to someone else. How do you call it? A witch who got kicked out or something like that and you know the baby's there so the question is is that going to remain a secret is the other baby going to be a secret from other pastors and the whole i don't know which which community or will the secret be revealed in part two and i wonder how doctor doctor and i wonder how fastest would react is he going to accept the baby if he finds out? Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Mystery number six. Mr. Cerberus and Hilda was kind of dating in part one. And then we did see them kiss in front of the porch. I forgot what episode that was. And then when he turned around, we saw his eyes change. That is already a mystery there. I mean, who is Dr. Why do I, why do I keep saying Dr.? Who is Mr. Cerberus? No, what is Dr. Cerberus? Mystery 7. Will we be seeing more of Susie's great-great-grandmother or whatever she was? And if we are, I mean, Finally, getting an explanation why Susie is here. Does Susie have some kind of special gift, uh, or do they were they blessed by the witches for I don't know? Because the great great ancestor, whatever she was, did say that she was a friend of the witches. So maybe they were blessed. The family was blessed with something. That's what I want to know. Why do we keep on seeing her? Mystery eight. In part one, Ross mentioned that she will be going blind any time soon. So I guess this has to be a part of the curse that was mentioned in part one. And what I want to know is, is she finally getting blind? Going blind? Getting blind. Is she finally going blind in part two? Ooh, and if she is, even if she's blind, can she still, you know, get the glimpse of the future? Still be a cunning woman, as her grandmother would call it? And would Sabrina help her? Would she unblind Roz, if ever? Yeah. Does she even have the power to do that? I don't know, just more questions. Mystery number nine. Mrs. Wardwell is already a mystery in itself. I am guessing she is like Lilith, I guess. There were some um, comments somewhere that she is Lilith, who is like the wife of Satan or something. So, okay, fine, but that's who she is. But is she working with Satan himself or is she working for herself? Is there a conflict of interest between her and the Dark Lord because it seemed like at the end of the season she was pretty pissed off. I hope that gets answered in part. Mystery number 10. This one is the biggest mystery and the biggest question that I have for the whole series. What exactly is the Dark Lord's plan? I mean, Sabrina is a half witch, half mortal. She was baptized for goodness sake. So why go all of this trouble just to let her sign on that book? What does she, what does the Dark Lord want with Sabrina? And why all... Because it's it doesn't... Okay, hear me out. He did all of these things. It's not easy. He has two people working with him to, I don't know, let her sign on the book or lead her somewhere. So it has to be a big thing. It has to be a really 
transforming the thing, right? It doesn't make sense that he goes through all of this trouble. So what, what could it be? And I know that I did say I have 10 mysteries, but I do have a bonus one. It doesn't really what? have anything to do with the storyline, but more like the whispers and the conspiracy theories going out about where the chilling adventures of Sabrina. Here it goes. Is there going to be a crossover with any of the Riverdale characters and part two of the chilling I know it's a pretty far-fetched kind of thing, maybe for part two, but I don't know. The creator did say that he wanted to have a crossover, so are we finally seeing that in part two, or do we have to wait? Or will it be in the Riverdale part of the story where it, we will see the witches in Riverdale? Ooh. So those are the different mysteries that I have for part 1 that I want to be answered in part 2. I have yet to watch part 2 so please no spoilers for part 2 in the comments below. And I promise that I will have a separate video for the answers of this specific video and that would have also be a review for part two. Oh my god, I'm just making it up as I go. And you've reached the end of this video. If you like this content, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have other things that, or other mysteries that are in your mind and that did not come up in my top 10 plus one bonus mysteries, comment down below what those are and you know, let's Let's all surround ourselves with the mystery of this whole series. And also, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Whether you like this video, you don't like this video, you like me, you don't me, I don't care. Just click the subscribe button. My name is Tara, and this is Tara Does Whatever. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!